Day one, and everybody eager to get off to a good start. Yes, and that's very apparent, Peter. Competition football is a different beast entirely, and you have to be prepared to dig deep to prevent everything going south very quickly. So this could be a, a tentative standoff in weighing each other up. I hope we'll see more probing than possession. things on the way who do you Jim see making a difference here yeah Virgil van Dijk he's just about unbeatable in every department Peter he's strong he's quick he's totally dominant in the air and what's more he seems to really love a tussle his passing's good too and he never seems to lose it in important areas I'd expect this team to notch up a lot of clean sheets with him on board yeah, he'll certainly be leaving his mark on this game, quite possibly, actually, at both ends. It's on Nautovic. This is what good chemistry is all about. Simons. Good spot, he's seen the run. Simons. Yeah, this kind of bold running will always get you into areas of possibility. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to uh, to hold on for the support. Stood up well to him there. Timber really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Move forward and quickly so. Out to the right. Now it's Lima. Important interception. Austria really are pushing their fullbacks forward now. Aiming to do what? Well, it's a case of engaging your opponents further up the pitch to take the sting out of opposition attacks. It's effectively a wide press. This interception, his positioning was spot on. Gets his pass away. Looking to break out here, looking for the runner. Oh, and he's through the middle. Baumgartner! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Austria were again presented with an opportunity to break and look very, very threatening. Seymour's. Turns back here, probably the best option. Austria looking to pass their way through. De Jong, Bergwijn, now it's Berghaus, Coop Miners, calmly anticipates, and it's played forward, just eases him off the ball. Bergwijn, Fiddles it through. Whatever happens, that's the kind of movement which raises hope. Berghaus! Goal! The Netherlands! Perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare. It's, it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defence and by the time he picked up the flight at that, it was too late. entertaining game from here on. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. That's a foul. Free 
kick's been given. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Unfortunately, you immediately want to have another go. Believe me on that. Simons. This is De Jong. Shifted upfield. It's a good foot in there. Lima. Gently done. Oh, that was expansive and incisive. The type of move to please any coach. Baumgartner. Well, that was well positioned and, and well pinched. They can't hurt with their backs to go. Berghaus. Now it's Bergwijn. He's got away. Simons! Ooh, and with that, the half-time whistle goes. And the team still separated by one goal, but it should be very different. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. The Netherlands are happier for teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up. And the second half gets underway. The Netherlands carrying a one-goal lead. Lima. Oh, that's such a good run. More of that, please. Look, it's a it's a run defence is dislike, but the timing. He's had a hit. He's missed, but not by that far. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Say truly wonderful goalkeeping. Defending of the desperate variety. Dumfries. Now they can spring out of defence. Oh, great ball. Bergwijn. And the shots. There's the shots. Austria really were asking for trouble there by failing to cope with a, a formidable press.
Lima. Grilich. Ball played for Baumgartner. Out to the left it goes. Alaba. He's left his man. He is just caressing the ball. Baumgartner tries a shot. Oh, the ball's run loose here. Fiong. Forwards and with intent. Verkhorst. Now it's Bergwijn. Now that's well seen too. Baumgartner. Chance to break. Schlager. Footballing with usually identifies with running room, and we've just seen a prime example. OK, it didn't quite come off. The execution, I think, needs a retry, maybe with a better outcome. It's run loose here. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Up to the way. De Jong. It's a decent looking cross. Delivers the ball. Keeper has taken decisive action. Talk about singling someone out. Look, if they want to shut down the threat, he's a very good place to start. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Shakes for an overhead! Austria making consecutive changes here. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and... As a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Sabitzer, Kalajic. Played out towards the right wing. Kalajic! Oh, shooting chance! Oh, he did the hard part right, but left the finish. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. to the left flank. There will be four extra minutes. Coop minus. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle.